Sam Starcy. Today I have the JDRC Christmas drone. Basically it's the Eachine E011C. These things are a lot of fun. They fly really well. They have a seven millimeter motor in them. But the bad thing about it is, is it sinks to you. Quite literally. So it's a lot of fun annoying the family with this for a little bit. And after a while, it does get to you. I want to give a big, big shout out to my coworker George for inspiring this video because he, um, I gave him an unbranded E58 and he's absolutely fell in love with droning. He loves to fly them. So I'm hoping to get him hooked into doing some of these FPV drones. And on Sinister RC, we always work on a budget and these things are $18 right now on eBay. So you better get them while you can. The batteries aren't the best in the world. I noticed when they come. And I also picked up this little camera right here for about $11 on eBay. This a little unbranded camera here. And we're gonna connect it to it for indoor flight. And I bought three of these, so I've got a little uh, bit of uh, leeway with these because I built this one last night. Put some tri props on there. And it's the same as this guy. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get that speaker out of here. We're gonna attach a plug to it so we can get this camera connected and build a budget FPV drone. Okay, so we just pop this top off and it comes off these two little pins. What we're gonna do here is remove the plugs. That's what's nice about these is you can just unplug them. You know, no soldering involved with getting your motors in and out. I just get my little tweezers in there and give it a little pry. right up underneath that edge, they're hard to get out. So what we'll do is we'll remove these screws and pop it up. Okay, now we can get to those plugs a little bit easier and I just pop them out right here. Well, that whole connector came loose. See that was fastened down good. No big deal. I connected, that's why I was having trouble getting it out. So these connectors do just slide right over the pin, make sure you get them back on there right. Okay. There we go, it's back on there. That's why it came off. So this is the speaker I was talking about. We just gotta remove this guy and it's just Got a double-sided sticky tape holding it on the bottom of the board, and we need to desolder it right here. Which I have my gun ready. And we'll just get rid of this real quick. There's the other. See, and we're desoldered there. Make sure you clean your tips and your solder gun every time you solder. Let me just peel this off the back. And you're speaker free. And this thing loses quite a bit of weight too. And you have bare board. Now what we're gonna do is connect our contacts right here to negative and positive. Positive, negative. We also have an option up here to connect them onto these right here, which I've done on another board. Okay, see, so what I use is these little plugs and I get them, you know, off other drones. I take apart or whatever and uh, cut my lead about 
yay long or so and I just need to tin up this wire real quick. Okay, we're gonna connect negative and positive here. Okay, so what I like to do myself personally is get a little on the end here. Just gonna give us some fresh solder to work with. right here you got a B plus and a B negative just make sure you're negative to positive positive to negative kind of thing you just don't want to cross them so positive to positive negative to negative now I'm gonna get a pair of tweezers for get that in there right plugged and ready to go for my camera so what I'm gonna do is just give it a quick test while it's sitting here like this plug in that camera grab our battery here just plug it in everything's working here and I have power to my camera so now we have a solid power source and all we'll have to do is add a little hood or however you want to do it double-sided sticky tape to the top let's get this board back together Okay, I got my motors all plugged back in. I just plugged them in before I got my board down. Just add my screws here. And actually, the only screw we're gonna attach at the moment with the hoods that I happen to get is this back screw, just hold the board down. Because this right here, this little hood that I got, Let's run this fella down through here like that. And then these just kind of push in there. And there's little kind of catches to catch it. And they just kind of shove in. Nice and tight, snuggy wuggy. Now, let's plug this guy back in. And all that extra cord, I just kind of like to twist it up, see what it does, it kind of kinks it up in there and just kind of shove it behind the camera in this little open slot right there. There we go. Maybe that's not sitting exactly where I want it, but we'll get it there. And I also made a little hole right here so I can run my antenna up through that. Let's get this antenna through there real quick. Add that other screw in the front. Oops. There's that hood. Got one little wire to tuck in right here. Them all under the hood. Now, I always carry extra screws, but you'll need like a few extra little screws. And most kits, like uh, drones, come with a couple extras, and you just need them for these side things. Alrighty, I'd take that phone call real quick, but yeah, I got some extra screws here, and that's these guys 
are going to be just to hold the sides of this hood down. You just line right up right here. And just fill in those little spots on the sides of the frame. Now I got a three pack of these little hoods. I think it was $8.99. Doesn't look bad. Get a little range right here with this little fella sticking out. Let's give the camera a test and see how it works. Okay, this thing does fly really good as you've seen. My house kind of messy, sorry about that. I just flew around because it is really, really raining outside. It's being, you know, fall, it's October, so. I love this thing. Although the controller that they sent me with this thing, check this out. When you turn it on, it goes, it won't connect. So there's something definitely wrong with this controller. I don't know what, I don't need it really. I just toss it for parts and take the antenna out of it. I ended up using the H98's controller for it because it's a uh, it's kind of a universal protocol for these guys. It's a, you know a little bit bigger, and I, I do also use my FSI 6X for these because I have a little multi-protocol chip right here that plugs into the back that'll run these little guys too. It's a lot of fun. Get a little better better weather and we'll get outside and we'll fly through some playgrounds and have a little bit of fun with this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And George, that's how you build them, bud. Real cheap. Need help ordering this stuff? I got you, buddy.